Ah. Welcome to Camping with Steve. After three days of mishaps and staying in this uh, motel in the village of Foremost, I'm finally getting out camping for the video I planned to do. So I've got beautiful wife, I'm gonna be staying here tonight, and I'll be staying on the side of the highway in a Ducks Unlimited Conservation Area shelter. Let's go. Hey, beautiful wife has drove me out here and she'll leave me on the side of the road. Uh, this is the shack that's going to be home for the night. There is a quarry over there by the sounds of it. And uh, yeah, it's just for watching birds. There's some slats, uh, roof slats that seem to have a bit of a gap in them. Could be a problem because there may be a light dusting of snow tonight. I'm hoping a light one. But uh, yeah, it was a few days to try and get out here because things kept going wrong in the tire department. So if you're actually curious about what happens when things go wrong in the videos, uh, I've got that adventure going up on the Steve Wallace Step 2 channel, which is where I put things that aren't a full official camping video. So we're going to unload some stuff out of here and we'll let the camping begin. Well, I'm not really constrained by what I can carry into this thing because we pulled the car right up here and there's nobody around. So I'm going to load a bunch of stuff into here, and uh, if anybody asks, watch the birds. Got the camera for it and everything. Can't have enough blankets. Even got a legend here to show you what's what. Uh, none of them look really interesting. I guess they're all interesting. They're nature's majesty. The tundra swan looks pretty good if we can see some of them. And I don't want to be clickbaity or hype things up too much, but I think there's a chance we could see some migratory waterfowl in here. Beautiful wife has just drove away, and now I've got that, oh good lord, what have I done feeling. Um, and I feel pretty exposed. I'm in the shelter now because the car is gone. What used to look downright wholesome couple out here with a camera at a bird sanctuary completely innocent now it looks very different single guy camera beer camping gear not a vehicle to be seen for miles uh, and I know it's a close-knit community because people are literally waving at me as if they know me when they're driving past which is really cool but they're gonna notice if something's out of place like somebody hunkered down in the shack at the Ducks Unlimited easement so we will keep it Nice and low, nice and quiet in here. And I can see that storm rolling in already, so just great. I'll throw the jacket on. Gotta stay pretty much in the middle of this thing so that people can't see me from either direction. But it's five o'clock somewhere. That means step two. I've never seen this beer in my life before. It was at the small village uh, liquor store called Bronk Beer. I don't even know where it's made, but I've never seen it before until, oh, uh, Last Spike Brewery. Okay, that's all right. I have no idea if this is a good beer. Uh, they didn't even have a price on the shelf when I grabbed it, so. Let's see what, what happens when I drink this. Not bad at all. Not bad. I would drink this. This is a nice patio beer. Nice domestic lager in a can. Crisp and cool. Delicious and refreshing. And I'm seeing a high quantity Canada geese. And I don't know how you guys feel about them. But I've got a long history with these things. So... Hopefully, they move on and allow for some more majestic birds to come through, like the uh, the tundra swan thing on the on the legend over there. Obviously, no shortage of Canada geese, and I was expecting that, but I have seen a few of these ones that look like tundra swans yeah, that's what I wanted to see actually that was the coolest looking one on the chart and yes serious birders right now are pulling their hair out I know that 
uh, and my mangled attempt at identifying these things. But I uh, may as well try while I'm out here, right? Uh, it's majestic. That nice sunny day has given way to these snow flurry looking clouds. Shouldn't be a problem because I got a couple of sleeping bags and a tarp. I think everything's going to be all right. The wind is whipping up and it's getting chilly. I think the weather is going to be the biggest challenge tonight. It's going to take a lot of hunkering down here, but sleeping bags, definitely nice and warm. It's nice to not have the ultralight backpacking stuff. We've got substantial uh, insulation power in this thing. The wind died down a little bit, so that's a really good thing. And there hasn't been much traffic going by lately. I think most people right now are back at home cooking dinner for their starving families. So, that gives me a little bit of courage to walk around here and just kind of show you guys where I am uh, on the side of the road here. That bridge has given me some stealthy thoughts. Um, that would have been the perfect one to camp underneath of versus the one I did that had the non-stop traffic. Just the remote country road is perfect for that type of thing. And uh, oh, there's a gravel pit over there. So I think we're surrounded by county land, but I can't be 100% sure. It's my suspicion though. Little break in the wind, which is perfect. Uh, gonna use that opportunity to cook up some mushrooms because we'll be doing some mushroom Swiss bergs tonight. We've got huge patties too, so this is gonna be very filling meal as always and if I'm filming in the dark then I need the lights on and that will give me away like that so let's cook up some mushrooms I'm trying to be as sanitary as possible in here because uh, the birds have been using this as a bathroom so there is a little bit of there's a little bit of evidence of that, you could say. And uh, I will be using the cot tonight. Uh, mushrooms, mushrooms. I'm really hoping that mushrooms, beer, and mushroom soup mix will make a nice topping for these burgers. I'm working without a recipe here, guys, so. Uh, just kind of using what I found in the grocery store. That's thickening up real good. And I'll let this reduce a little more. Not very low flame. We're gonna have some messy, mushroomy, Swissy burgers. What does it taste like? Oh yeah, perfect, perfect. Oh man, well, that woke up the stove, okay. Just trying to rinse the utensils and pot here. Haven't seen a car in quite a while. I shouldn't have said that. I know what's going to happen now. I made a couple of patties before I left, which are big, even by my standards. And if you know me, that's saying something. So I'll probably just have one of these monsters tonight. Yeah, look at that. I'm sure it's a half pounder. I'm sure of it. In a small town, I work with what they have, and they had lean ground beef. For burgers, I normally like to do regular ground beef because it makes for a juicier burger, albeit much more unhealthy. With these little backpacking stoves, there is a hot spot. It's a real small burner, and you'll get a hot spot right on the, the center of the pan, unless you have a thick pan, but you probably don't have cast iron if you're using a, a backpacking stove. So it is scorching a little bit, but I'm just moving it around to make the best of it, but that's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. Anything out in nature tastes great. Getting dark quick. So definitely gotta cheese this burg. Swiss. Oh yeah. You only 
live once. Double slice. It's now officially flashlight time if I want to see anything. So we're going to make this quick. If I let this cheese melt anymore, it's going to be more of a hockey puck than it already is. So, get some of this mushroom concoction on there. Throw this thing. <laughs> Look at that. This is what I call a quality burg. Give it a taste test. Before I go any further, I know what I forgot. Hmm. Oh, I hear a car coming. We'll get back to this in a sec. Just wait for them to drive on past. But brief description is, I didn't put any salt or pepper on this patty. But it's never too late. I got this clubhouse. Um, it's garlic and onion, um, salt and pepper, all in one little shaker. So, put some of this onto this train rack of a burger here. It'll give me some sodium, much required electrolytes. The nice thing is, I can hear these people coming from a mile away. So, perfect. Anyway, yeah, this burger is on the list of things I'm going to make at home. And yeah, this is the uh, this clubhouse stuff I was just speaking of. Set this. Okay, yeah. This um, clubhouse uh, combination of spices. Perfect. So I'm gonna chow down on this. I'm not setting up the bunk until it's pretty much completely dark. That way, um, the less time it's set up like I'm living here, uh, the better it's going to be for us. No, out of control today. set up this little cot thing. Uh, so Woods, I've used this a whole bunch, but if anybody's just tuning in, the Woods Low Set Folding Cot. Uh, they sell it at Canadian Tire. Hard to believe, I know. But the wind really makes it uncomfortable, uh, but the uh, that little chart with all the birds on it, on the other side of this, comes up to about there. So. When I get things set up uh, underneath it here, it'll be a lot more comfortable. So, get this all set up. I will give, uh, you know, the normal shout out to all the people who have donated uh, to the Beer Donation Fund, which, you know, is basically just funding these adventures so that I can keep filming them without having to talk about Dollar Shave Club or something at the beginning of the, every video. So, much appreciated. It's like the PBS of YouTube, I guess. Viewers like you. Anyhow. Get this uh, secured. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Didn't even forget any parts of this whole contraption. Caught it. <laughs> right. Coxes. 
set up and ready to go. The camera didn't break when it tipped over. It tipped over the proper way towards me. And I got two sleeping bags tonight. There's old yeller, which I normally bring. And there's this one that beautiful wife usually uses when we're camping. Uh, this one's a little heftier and uh, a lot more comfortable, so that's awesome. Uh, I'll blow up that air mattress too, because that extra little bit of insulation definitely makes uh, a big difference. Good. All set to go. All right. The bunk is set up and good to go as soon as I'm tired enough to sleep. I'd slept in a little bit this morning, so I'm still kind of full of energy, and that is not working to my advantage. Um, on a dark, cold, boring night with questionable cell service, I would much rather be curled up in a couple of sleeping bags drifting off to slumberland. But uh, that's not going to work. So I'm going to watch some movies on the phone that I downloaded. Um, kill a little time until the Sandman comes, and it'll hopefully get me to bed early enough that I'm up early, because one thing I know about birds is they're going to be going ballistic at 6 in the morning. There's even sayings about how early birds are up, and if people are out bird watching, this is the place to do it, and they're probably up even earlier than the birds. So, beautiful wife's got an alarm set, and we're going to be ready to pack up in a split second tomorrow and get out of here. But just going to watch a video or two, and then we'll crawl into bed in a bit. Well, uh, good thing I didn't get into bed right away because the snow has begun, and it's a little worse than what the weather forecast was saying. Uh, this is going to be a fairly serious snowfall by the looks of things by the time the morning comes. And I'm going to have to do something because everything is getting covered in snow. Um, thankfully, i got a trick up my sleeve. Um, I brought a fly for a hammock, so I'm going to rig that up somehow to try and uh, keep this snow from burying me in the night. That's a little better. Obviously, in a situation like this, stealth takes a back seat to not getting hypothermia. So, we're gonna snow off of everything. And hopefully, uh, it is a refreshing north wind. And I got this hammock fly blocking most of the wind coming through. Um, there's still some snow, obviously, but it's just little pieces like this. I'm not all that concerned. Things were starting to look more serious. There's big, uh, big stuff coming down, and I'm sure there will be more of it tonight. But the cot will tuck in right here, and it should provide me ample shelter. So, that's gonna happen as soon as I get some get to bed in a little bit here but I just want to make sure this is secure enough to uh, to stay up for the night before I hunker down this is what we're calling shelter tonight uh, makes a huge difference though uh, I should have put this up a little earlier in the daylight but I was more concerned about stealth back then, and now I'm more concerned about living through the night. 
sleeping up a storm in no time. That's the perfect placement. I need it in the night. Yeah, I think we're we're all set for a good good sleep. <sighs> yeah. Just a few more hours and we'll get out of here and go somewhere warm. Get the laundry done for the first time in a few days. <laughs> okay. bring a pillow for some reason but right on just curl up here we'll see you guys in the morning good morning We've got a little bit of a winter wonderland out there. Super warm sleep. But beautiful wife has uh, just messaged me. She's on the way. So I'm going to get up and start packing some of this stuff up. It's always a good night when you live through the night. Well, look at what happened. Could have been worse. They had a snowfall warning for like an hour away from here. And they were calling for 25 centimeters, which is just shy of a foot. So, wow, uh, that's crazy. Let's get this stuff packed up. Beautiful wife is on the way to come get me. And, oh, what a miserable looking day. It's going to be nice to get into that car and warm up just a little bit. Aha! Here we are. Warmth. I do believe we're going to have to continue to do more of these road trippy things. Because anything around where I live, I've stealth camped in it if it's worth stealth camping in. So. It's easier also to film on the road because we're not being jolted out of reality. We're just kind of on the go filming stuff that happens. And back at home, you know how things go. Get those obligations. It, it'll take no time at all and I'll be just working on the house again instead of uh, getting out and exploring nature. But uh, there are other people that are far more qualified to be working on my house than myself. If you're liking these types of things, um, please don't be shy to subscribe. Uh, that does help me out. And if you are already subscribed, be sure to check that you're still subscribed. There has been a little thing going on where I've got comments where people thought they were subscribed or were certain they subscribed. And uh, probably a glitch in the matrix somewhere is causing uh, unsubscribing to occur. Little cot, all packed up. Oh, this morning is a frosty little devil. Got too used to these nice warm temperatures, which I shouldn't, because it's Alberta. You have fall, spring, uh, second winter, all that type of stuff that happens in, uh, in March and April. Perfect. Uh, just like no one was ever here. So, uh, 
not even any garbage for me to pick up out here. It's just beautiful. Um, so, thanks for watching, everybody. We are going to see you on the next adventure. And, uh, yeah, we'll be doing more of these on-the-road ones because it's... I'll drive past this thing, and right away it pops out my mind, like, I should go camping there, definitely. But for the folks around here, they drive past it every day. And uh, same with things around my house. Uh, I drive past them every day. If they can be camped in, I've probably camped in them already. So just got to keep the adventure rolling. So yeah, I can get out of this cold. Thanks everybody for watching. Cheers.